everyone, this is Deepa Parma again and we have Miss Isha today with us. Hello. You must be surprised at what she's doing in the tutorial videos, right? Well, you have no idea she's not just good in fashion, she is good in technical stuff too, right? Yeah. Well, that's it for the intro. We should start now. Should we? Sure. So today's tutorial is going to be a little different. So today for the first time, our channel is introducing After Effects. If you have Premiere Pro, you should definitely have After Effects as well. It comes in a package with the Premiere Pro, so you should be good for that. Well, let's come to the topic now. Today we are going to talk about the rotation effect or you may say the spinning effect which you just saw in the beginning of this video. And I have to say this is one of my favorite effects. So if you want to make your travel videos more exciting, use this effect. And also it's very simple to achieve this. So rather than wasting more time, like Deepak Korma says, <laughs> let's do it. So we have a footage here in Premiere Pro on which we are going to apply this rotation effect. Just take a look at this clip first. It's a hyperlapse video without any rotation effect to it as of now. So let's begin. First, let's add black bars to the top and bottom to give it a cinematic look. To do that, let's create an adjustment layer first. Now drop it two layers above the clip. I'll tell you why we are doing this in a bit. Now, go to Effects Panel and search for Crop. Drag and drop it to the Adjustment layer. Now, go to Effect Controls and look for Crop. Here you have it. Now, crop from top and bottom. I generally crop by around 10%, but it's up to you. There you go. Now you have your cinematic black bars. Now, hold the Alt key on your keyboard Click the clip and drag it to one layer up. Basically, it will make a copy of this clip. Why we are doing this is because we are going to replace this clip with After Effects composition. So in case something goes wrong with the clip, you can simply hold and delete it. Hope it makes sense. And I hope it's clear why I asked you earlier to drop the adjustment layer two layers up. So now let's right click on the clip and hit replace with After Effects composition. It will open After Effects on your machine. First, it will ask you to create the project. Just name it the way you want to and save it. Once we are done with that, it should show you footage here in the After Effects. Now, let's right click on this bottom left panel, go to the new and hit adjustment layer. Now here you have your adjustment layer. If you expand it, you will see the transform option here. but you need to ignore it since we are not going to use this transform option. So now what you need to do is go to the effects and presets here and search for transform. Here it is. Now drag and drop it to the adjustment layer. Search for motion tile and in the same way drop it to the adjustment layer. You can see both the options under effects. Now drag the motion tile above the transform otherwise effect won't work. Now expand the transform and here you can see the scale option. So just scale it down a little bit, let's say 50%. Please note that we're gonna roll it back a little later. Now go to motion tile and expand it. You will see here these two options, output width and output height. Increase both of them until it covers the whole screen. Now, Go to the effect controls and click the checkbox for mirror edges. Go back to the scale under transform and bring it back to 100. It will bring the clip back to original. Now come to the beginning of the clip if you are not already there. I am already at the beginning and now look for rotation under transform. Hit the stopwatch icon for rotation. It will add a keyframe at this point. Once you're done with that, change the angle of the video using this option. I wish to start this video at this angle. You can choose your starting angle as per your vision. Now let's go to the end of this clip and change the angle again. Something like this. Let's play the video now. And here you have your rotating video effect. Looks pretty cool, right? And now if you go back to Premiere Pro and play the video, you will see the rotation effect as it's coming from the After Effects composition. That's it! 
Please note that this tutorial only focuses on the rotation effect. If you also want to learn how to add the wiggle text like you saw in the beginning of the video, click the link above or find it in the description below. Did you like this video? I'm sure you did. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, if you want us to create a video on a specific topic, do let us know by commenting below. And also follow us on Insta and Facebook for more updates. All the links are down in the description. So yeah, do like us and follow us. And one last thing before we end this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel because we're gonna bring so much valuable content for you guys. So don't miss that out. Do subscribe. And for now, bye.